people. We're back with the hot topics of the week. Um, uh, but let's 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 start out with with Rick KFC finger licking good Patino. Let's start out with Ricky. Ricky. Awesome um, American Patino. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky, I, Ricky. I'm not. I mean, the, my my take on it is just like I'm not judging anybody's marriage. I'm not. Marriage has its. Uh, everyone's marriage has its pitfalls, and I'm not here to judge the guy. But all that I can say is, coach, you've made millions of dollars over your career as a coach, high-profile coach in college at Kentucky and Louisville, and with the Knicks, and then you broke the bank and ran out of town like a pussy with the Celtics. Can you step up your game slightly and at least take the woman to a Holiday Inn Express? <laughs> I mean, a Motel 6, maybe? Hey, a Motel 6, I mean... She I settled mean, for a Super 8. I mean, a booth coach? I mean, I can see like a, a Louisville a Louisville nerd, you know, or a Kentucky fan going to that restaurant with his media guy under his, you know, he's out dining alone. And he's going to say to the hostess, like, hey, do you mind if I sit where Coach Pete got an arm with that blonde? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said he'd get caught with his gay lover, but, uh, you know, how do you, how do you get in front of these Ricky Nail, somebody. <laughs> How do you get in front of these recruits now and say, you know, God. hey, you know, you got to play for me. I know what I'm talking about. You know. Well, they could get excited and be like, oh, yeah, they, they have they like full out orgies with the coach. They, they don't care about that. I mean, the bottom line is, 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 is Ricky is not like this status of his life and he thinks he can do no wrong and he thinks he can get away with anything. It's, it's really well, he got caught. He cut his hand right in the cookie jar. Well, the thing is, well, I mean, that could be his, him and his wife's arrangement. Not that we're we'll judging the matter. Right, right. He got caught. He got caught now, but. This ain't his first dance. Correct. Right. Right. Absolutely not. I mean, he's been doing this for. I mean, the thing. He messed with the wrong, the wrong bra. Yeah, he messed with the wrong actually. <laughs> oh, but uh, no, the, the, the thing is, it's like now he has like the anti-abortion groups because the school is publicly funded, so they think they should be able to call for his head. Have a say in that. No, please. And they are calling for his head. Oh yeah. Um, and, and then he got his, his his supporters. I mean, that well, he can never do any wrong. Always there, uh, but the, the, the thing that I found funny is, is this equipment manager thing. I mean, the, the Jimmy Cipher. Yeah, it's like he's <laughs> a home. He's a Massachusetts homeboy. He, he's a random boy. Oh, random boy. It's, it's like, like, hey, he made his bed. He's got to live in it now. Now he's gonna deal with the media on the road. You know, with the microphones in his face. Hey, hey. Well, you, you know, I mean, Timmy. Timmy used to be his driver. You know, who knows what he saw on the back this of the This is the best part of the story, is Tim Seifert. It, it really it's, is. It just it really smells. Is. It smells of... It smells of what the, what the allegations are. Yeah. Ricky paid him to marry the brothers. Uh, I mean, it's... It looks, I mean, honestly, she is bona fide nuts. She is crazy. But there has to be some truth to what she's saying. Yeah. Some. Yeah. It's got a line. In the it's in the middle, exactly. It's in the middle. Yeah, I'm in for messing with her. But so I don't know. know. I don't uh, uh, Ricky showed up a little cash that hey, you're working for me all these years. You got mad at this broad. Uh, I gotta get around here. Just shut it. Just just keep her happy for a little while. Let this blow over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and then you know you can do what you want. And what do you know? You know he never had any wind of this this, this whole this whole you know extortion. And now it, there is a divorce pending. Because they are now getting the votes. Yeah, and there's a four-year-old dog. He never knew about this. Yeah. He never knew about this. So anything. you guys think he's gone? Do you think he's done? Do you think he's no, I don't think he's done. I don't think he's done. I mean, the, the, he came out and made his apology because the, the the president, Louisville president, made yeah, he's him come out and make his apology. And the whole it's, it's, a, whole it's a whole different lifestyle. I understand. It's a high-profile, different lifestyle, different type of marriage. Who knows what their marriage is like? That that's not my knock. My, my whole thing that I just found is like, like I said, it's like, Rick, you left the restaurant with her, okay? So it's not like one of these deals where I'm at a bar, I meet exactly. a girl, and I know we get it on, you know. We're talking about two episodes, episodes here, right? Two episodes. Yeah. So yeah. 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 He, he leaves. It's like, <laughs> hey, honey, I, I'm leaving now. You stay in here for ten minutes and get me a Hyundai and drive home. I'm gonna be out here getting in my town car and heading home. No. He left the bar with her. Yeah. He said in the car she was she was hitting him up for Louisville season tickets. So you were leaving with her anyway. So why don't you just hit her up at the fucking Exactly. <laughs> so what did that escalate to? She wants how much now? Ten million. Ten million? Hey, yeah. That's great. <laughs> hey Ricky, write the check. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
<laughs> Hope you get another book deal coming out of the pike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna have to do some extra motivational speeches, Ricky. <laughs> Success is a choice, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but moving on, uh, the, the Michael Vick thing. Mikey! I, I'm just... <laughs> I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked at the team. Yeah, yeah. But I gotta say, I'm, like, I'm kind of excited about it. I, I want to see what they do with this guy. I mean, it, it's... This whole, there's, there's tons of spin coming out of Philly about, you know, McNabb was pissed um, that they that they signed him. That was what you heard first inside sources say that McNabb is. And then you had you had Peter King in, in, um, SI's, uh, in his SI piece this week say that um, McNabb actually text messaged Andy Reid the day Vic got reinstated by Goodell, yeah, wow. saying, sign him. That's all he said, sign him. So, to me it says, you know, you want to play second fiddle. You know, Vic wants to be, are you the number one guy or not, you know? It seems like he's happy being, you know, just plugged into, you know, and maybe he might come on in for a wildcat scenario or, you know, if talking about Vic. Yeah. Well, yeah, Vic, totally. Vic doesn't have much choice right now, but to be second. He's, he's we have in his image for it, yeah. So exactly, he has no choice. For it. Yeah. That's like why it's not going to last. Don't think it's. How many options do you have? What other teams are thrown out there? I didn't hear much about it. You know, but no, it was, all of a sudden, bang, you hear he's on in Philly. You know, well, I heard a whole bunch of stuff leading in, and then Philly. I mean, they come out of nowhere. It was like I didn't expect. But now, now in terms of you talk about like teams running this wildcat offense, the wildcat. If you're running it with two quarterbacks, you could do some damage because oh, you can have many, many you can have McNabb split up on the as a wide. You get very interesting. And, and, and cut, you, you can run reverses, hand off to McNabb. McNabb's firing from the. You can do so many. And, and, and the Wildcats designed to to throw actually. To, you you can throw so a direct snap. You know, to like Miami did with Ronnie Brown. He's a running back. It's it's different. But direct snap to Vic. Vic can throw the ball. Did you want, Vic can hand it off. Do you want Vic on the Patriots? Do you want him on the Patriots? No. no you don't want him on the Patriots? I, no. In a, you can have him. You I'm know. saying take him. You don't want him. No. I, I, because a he Go is on. a hell of a No, he is a hell of a weapon. But it's the situation. If the Patriots were under a different situation, yeah. I, would, I would say I could be convinced to pick him up. Absolutely. I don't I want, want his... I just don't want... The distraction, really, but they don't There's need a lot of baggage. There's a lot of they baggage. They don't need him. No, they don't need him. You know, but yes, I, I could be convinced to take him. He is a hell of a weapon, and if they needed that, I mean, there was no bigger weapon in football than Cordell Stewart until things got just out of hand. And he had to be a, they made him into this drop back pocket passer that when he was playing his slash role, that's what he, he was. was yeah. he, was, he was a hell of a player. If you're That's talking fantasy football, yeah, you probably want him in there for what he can do. But, you know, real life scenario and all the baggage he brings, see you later. No, no, no. I, I, Good luck to him. You got a film, you can have him. Baggage aside, I disagree with that because baggage, uh, Randy Moss comes with a lot of baggage. Yeah. Randy Moss is doing well. He wasn't, uh, hang, you know, slaying up uh, you know, dogs. No, he was doing worse. I mean, uh, Randy's no saint. No, I know that. He didn't get caught in some of the crap he's doing. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap things this week. Um, stay tuned next week. We've got another one coming up. I just want to thank everybody real quick. That first show last week was just did awesome. We got awesome numbers, awesome amount of hits to the website um, Credit for that show. I mean, it, it was awesome. great. So thank you to everybody. Um, thanks to my co-host here, Steve Marshall. See you next week. Tommy Slats. My stepson Mikey for his crazy train. Nice. As yeah. always, he was back again. <laughs> <laughs> he was back That's again. So thanks to everybody. Stay tuned next week. Till then, stay thirsty, my friends. Go Sucks. Bring it on this weekend. <laughs>